Hi, in this video we'll learn how to convert lists to dictionaries. We'll learn how to use the functions zip and dict. Well, we can convert a list to a dictionary as well. Suppose we have two lists, one with English words and the other with the German count words. Have a look. English words, German words. They correspond to the English ones. Auto is a car, hut is a hat, and so on. Now we can make a dictionary out of them in a couple of steps. First, we need the zip function, which takes the two lists as arguments. So English German iterator equals zip, and here we have the two lists. And now this method returns an iterator. This is why I used it in the name. So what we get English German iterator is a zip object. Next, we have to use the method list to convert the list iterator into a list. So English German translations equals list, and here we pass the iterator as an argument. Fine. And what we get now is a list. We get a list of two tuples where the first element in each tuple corresponds to a key in the dictionary we're going to convert the list into, and the second element will be the value. We can convert this list into a dictionary using the method dict. So here's how we can do it. Translations dictionary equals dict, and here we pass the list of the tuples. And now what we get is a dictionary indeed. So as you can see, the first part, so the key is the element from the first list, and the value is the corresponding element from the second list. Well, here we converted these two lists into a dictionary in a couple of steps. So we had an iterator, then we had a list of tuples, and finally the dictionary. But we can achieve the same in a simple way. We can pass the method zip as the argument of the method dict. So something like this will work the same. Dict, zip, and the two lists. So we can do it in one go. And this is what we get. The same. Whether we use the multi-step method or the simple one, it doesn't work for all lists. The case in a dictionary must be an immutable data type. So if we have a mutable data type like lists in the first list, they can't be converted to keys in the dictionary. We get an error. Have a look. Here we have two lists, add triplets and middles. Now let's try to use this function dict zip add triplets and middles and we get an error because now it can't convert these lists to keys because these are mutable data types. And what happens if the numbers of elements in the two lists are different? Well, the superfluous elements will be lost. Have a look. Here we have another pair of lists, positions and rewards. In the first list we have five elements, in the second list we have only three. So what happens if we try to convert them into a dictionary? Well, as you can see, the two superfluous positions, 4 and 5, will be last. Now, there is one thing we have to know about the zip method. It returns an iterator, not a list. In iterators, the elements get used up, so that they can't be used again. Have a look at this. Here we have two lists again, seas and oceans. And now let's zip them. So we get an iterator, C's iterator. Zip C's oceans. Fine. And now let's use the iterator to make a list. 
okay and let's make another list using the same iterator fine list one list two now the iterator gets used up when it is used in the first list so the elements go to the first list have a look c list one here we have it and there is nothing left for the second list so the second list is empty c list two as you can see we get an empty list because all these elements were used up in the first list okay that's it for this video if you like it a thumbs up would be great also make sure to subscribe for future videos if you want to leave a comment or ask a question you're welcome to do so thanks for watching